Home, only Montreal has a worse home power play than do the New Jersey Devils. Montreal's last in everything on the power play. So the Devils really want to pick that up. The 49 seconds on the power play. Adelaide open the shot. Save made. Rampart scores! The rebound is put in by Coach Mullen. Power play goal. Rebound. Rampart is down. Rampart is down and he is not worried. What an effort by Kirk Muller, but I think possibly Huddy and Muller landed on top of Ramford as he went down. Well, it seems just a little bit of movement now, but I wasn't watching him. I was watching the puck, but I really didn't see how he fell. But obviously, somebody must have landed on top of him. And it looks, I don't want to even guess if it was serious or not, but he's not moving. Have a good look at it right here. Now watch in front of that. You're going to see 9 Muller, 22 Huddy. You see the leg and the now the arm of Muller right there as he comes down and pins him on the ice. Looks as though it is not a serious injury. We'll hope for that. And Pookie Reddick now, because of the injury, will have an opportunity to come out here and get ready. There you see Reddick. An interesting situation right here with Reddick coming on to play. Because Reddick's not had uh, the opportunity this season uh, to do anything with the Edmonton Oilers. This is going to be the first game in net for Pookie Reddick for the Oilers this year. Watch four here. Now watch the stick of 18. Had him right there with a the slide. Yeah, that was... Uh, and he's going to the dressing room. This is the second game in a row the Devils have been called for a high second penalty. Yeah, last game was Jimmy Korn. You know, and sometimes I think this is a good, a good call. I'm not sure that McCourt saw it. They've yeah. played this pretty well here. They've had four clears now on the power play, but Zika just found a hole, and there goes the cage. Nothing to do with the double player on that one. We'll be back, 1-1. One, one. Watch the goaltender, the left part of your screen. You're going to see Randy Gray. Now, he just he just falls over himself right there. Pokey Red just gets out of the way in time because if Reddick goes down, Ranford's already at the hospital. So one of the Edmonton Oilers would have to put the pads on. Klima could skate that quickly. You see Smith getting in on... You see Smith getting in on Sean Burke again. And watch the little extra that he'll give Sean Burke. And he could have stopped, but he carried through and gave him a little extra. McLean trying to send it in. It's loose. Rebound. Muller shot. Save. Reddick. And he covers up. Pokey Reddick played an incredible first game of the season. Holding the Oilers lead at 2-1 with 32 seconds left. You can't cover the puck up and run a couple seconds off in the final minute of a close game. 14 McTavish right here. He's knocked down by Turgeon. And you can just see him right there. <laughs> you put that on the VCR and show potential referees what a delayed game is. That's it. <laughs> Devils now with a two-man skating advantage and a whistle here as McCourt and Stewart are conferring at the side of the net. Whatever they needed to do, they've done. Nine seconds left. Devils down by a goal. Driver, the shot. Solve again. Re oh, yeah! Patrick Sundstrom! They tied the game! 19-57! Overtime, 2-2. Tommy Abilene up, knocked down by Terjean Abilene's hurt behind the play. Tommy Abilene got hit. Was it with a high stick? Dan McCourt, the linesman, indicated to Paul Stewart, the referee, that he took a stick on the eyebrow. Apparently by Adam Graves. But did anybody see it? Paul Stewart's asking the linesman right now. Watch the left side of the screen here and see what happens. 
Through the left side right here. No, that's a, what that is, that's an elbow. He's knocked Abilene out. He did not get his stick up at all. His, his stick is clearly in his right hand. And Paul Stewart did not see that. He was looking the other way. He did not see the penalty. Here's number 12, Adam, Adam Graves. Graves went by him with the elbow up. Race for Bob Brook. Is there enough time? Keegan and takes him down. This game is going to end in a tie. And the Devils and the Oilers for the second time this season play to a tie. 2-2.